Well, thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, my name is Steve Lynn. And I'm the Director of Marketing here at Blaze. Uh, we are very excited today to preview our new integration with Biotrack, which really allows us to expand our footprint and move into some new states that you know, have really been limited on POS, POS options in the past. Uh, if you're new to Blaze, we are a complete seed to sale software ERP system uh, that supports cultivators, distributors, retailers, and delivery services. Um, our software is built by former cannabis operators. So we understand the challenges um, and designed our software with that in mind. Uh, you'll see we offer some additional products such as Blaze Pay for debit transactions um, and Blaze Insights, which is an up and coming business intelligence tool, which uh, we'll be rolling out uh, in the very near future. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, fortunately, I brought some backup for our webinar today. I'm joined by our very own Ashley Hetty. She is our compliance development technician here at Blaze. She's been with us for a little over five months now. Um, Ashley, why don't you jump in and tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to be a part of the Blaze family. Um, yeah, I came to Blaze about five months ago, you said, um, you kind of mentioned that. Um, I actually started in the cannabis industry in 2014 in Washington. Um, I started working with Biotrack THC. Um, I worked with them for about five years um, and helped them launch um, pretty much nine state traceability systems. Um, so I've been deep in the traceability and compliance um, since I have been in the cannabis industry. Um, and then, I don't know, Blaze kind of posted a job that looked like it was a perfect fit. And so I went ahead and applied and it's been great ever since I've been here. Um, everybody's super easy to work with. It's awesome. <laughs> um, and they have like really, I mean, we have really good cutting edge, <clears throat> I think, um, cannabis software compared to what else I've seen on the market today. So Yeah, I, I completely agree. We're glad to have you. Thanks for joining the team. Um, we're really excited to talk about some of the awesome features of this integration with Biotrack and how it's really gonna streamline some of the retail workflows, automate compliance, reporting for dispensaries. Um, but we're gonna co cover some of the basics of the Biotrack integration. And then at the end, we'll finish up with a brief Q&A to answer any remaining questions you might have about the integration. Um, before we jump in, um, we do want to uh, launch a little poll here. Let's see if I can do that. I think that may have started. Um, but you can learn a little bit more about you, where you stand in your current tech. I think it's only four questions, so it should be a fairly quick survey. Uh, if you have any questions for us during the webinar, feel free to drop them in the chat, and we'll try to get those answered by uh, the end of the webinar. All right. With that said, um, let's dive right in. Um, I think really one of the biggest advantages of this integration is the ability to expand on your current tech stack, right? Blaze currently has over 40 integrations with other cannabis software providers that offer a variety of services, including e-commerce, loyalty, SMS, analytics, digital signage, kiosks, uh, delivery driver tracking, uh, and those are just to name a few. Um, and, and you'll likely recognize a lot of our current product partners, uh, but just know that this list is continuing to grow. So if you're already using some of this technology, just know uh, it's easy to make the switch to Blaze and keep your current tech stack you know, as it stands and even add on to that. Um, so yeah, with that said, I, I wanna pass it over to Ashley so we can really dive in to some of the functionality of this new BioTrack integration. Um, so I'll pass it over to you, Ashley. Okay, um, so we're going to go over several things today, basically how easy it is to integrate Blaze with um, BioTrack or your state traceability system, um, how the transactions are sunk or sync over in real time with BioTrack. Um, also, go over some features of Blaze that might make your life a little bit easier um, as you're using BioTrack with Blaze together. Um, and then just kind of go over, like I said, some more features like Blaze Pay um, and just mention those and our, go over our comprehensive reporting. So um, the first thing I'm going to mention is we have a, in our, in our account settings, you will essentially go in here and enter in your location number, your UBI for your state, um, their admin username and password. And if you can notice underneath um, the locations here, you have BioTrack locations and metric locations. So depending on what state you're in, the integration is going to be super easy, even if you're not in a BioTrack state. 
Um, we've also done a really good job keeping our functionality the same between the states. So if you're an operator and are operating in a biotrack state as well as a metric state, um, the Blaze functionality is going to continue to be the same. So that's really easy for your employees as well. <clears throat> um, Blaze also um, sets this up really easy for you to toggle between multiple locations. So let's say you have multiple retail locations within a, the same biotrack state. You can toggle between those very easily. Um, and even if you're vertically integrated, you can go from your grow to your distribution um, just pretty easily to run reports or see what's going on in those facilities. The next thing that we did um, was integrate our inventory transfers. Um, essentially, this is an example of a Blaze PO. Um, once you match your manifest IDs, um, you'll be able to go in and enter in a unit cost um, or the total cost and a discount per line item. Um, go ahead and click the next slide. You can also click on batch details here, and this will bring up the batch details for each one of the items that you're bringing in. You can see here that you're connected to the Biotrack State Traceability System and the barcode that's um, kind of goes along with it. Um, it will also port over any other information that's transmitted via the Biotrack API, um, which will show you like your quantity, um, like your unit weight even on the prepackaged states, as well as your um, like your potency and your things for the QA results. Um, again, this will only pull over the information that's transmitted via the Biotrack API. All of the rest of it is free form and you are welcome to enter that though. So this is kind of an example of our reporting. Um, I think we may have skipped a couple of slides, but we'll, we'll come back <laughs> if we did. Um, the reports, um, Blaze comes with over 100 plus reports. Um, this is an example of our total sales report. Um, this is also super handy if you guys are just looking at um, just wanting graphs, um, just because it makes it a whole lot easier to present this data, I know, to management and or leadership. Um, all of these reports are also exportable if you just wanted to like port them into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, it will also email you a copy of those once you run them. Um, this is just an exam another example of an, Im or an inventory detail report. Um, this one's a good one because it's going to show you your cost of goods sold. Um, this will total, you can run it for a specific day or even a time range. Total sales by detail report is actually one of our customer favorite reports. Um, this one breaks down everything um, a little bit more detailed than the total sales report. Um, this is just going to break down everything, including your taxes, your cost of goods, like I mentioned before. Um, all of the reports kind of include all of those things, which are very important, I know, to, to operators. So all of our member limits are also in, if in Biotrack states, it's all transmitted via the API. So as you're checking in patients, um, this will verify that the patient ID is still valid. It will also let you know um, how much they have left on their purchase limits, especially since like Illinois, for an example, which is, is an example of Illinois, um, they have a 14 rolling day limit. Um, so it takes the guesswork out of you guys having to keep track of that um, because Biotrack keeps track of all that. Um, and we now keep track of that for you. It will alert you if the patient's going over limits and we'll even block the sale. So um, one thing whenever you guys are transferring things over from Biotrack is we've added this new compliance layer. Um, a com this compliance layer is gonna break down everything that's getting transmitted to Biotrack or any state traceability system in real time. Um, it also kind of gives you a little bit more details um, about what's happening. Um, this right here is how we are gonna intake packages. So let's just say you're already an existing customer um, in any of these Biotrack states. Essentially, once we get your um, product names in, like ported over from your existing POS. Essentially, all you will have to do is hit intake and associate them with an, a Blaze product name and then the batch that they come from. So it'll be very seamless as you guys are transferring over. This is another big feature of our um, compliance layer. This is the task manager. This shows you in real time um, what type of transactions being submitted, the progress, and then the status of that transaction. If you notice, I pulled up one here that has failed just to kind of show you an example of a failed um, API call. And if you click on any of those, it brings it up. It shows you what the error was. Like this person was actually over at their limit, so it blocked the sale. 
Um, it shows you the error limit and then you could resubmit like if you thought that something was wrong about this or maybe your internet connection went out for a second and you just needed to resubmit that sale, there you go. So awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this back over to Steve now we can do some Q&A. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks for walking us through that. Um, you know, I think that task manager is really like a revolutionary update in my, update, in my opinion. Uh, I don't really know of any other system out there that offers this sort of like API call of transparency. So I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, another key takeaway is that our compliance layer is uh, really handling the integration so that uh, the process in Blaze doesn't really change whether you're using BioTrack or Metric. So that's pretty, pretty cool as well and should help to shorten that learning curve. So yeah, let's drive, dive into a little bit of Q&A here. Uh, we have a couple of FAQs uh, already pulled up um, and we have Ashley and Michelle, our compliance lead, who can uh, help us answer these. How do I know my data is being submitted to the state? Great question. Let's, uh, let's answer that one for the folks. Um, probably the easiest way is the compliance task manager because it shows you each one of those API calls in real time. And if one's failed, why it failed and um, you know what you might need to do to resubmit that. Nice. Um, and do I need to log into Biotrack as well as Blaze? Not anymore. Um, once you kind of do the initial setup and you get all your products set up and everything, um, you really won't have to log into Biotrack any longer. It'll be great. You'll have to yeah. just log into Blaze to complete everything you need to complete. Great. And is there any like initial login to buy a track when, when you're setting up the integration or is it sort of like a one time and then you're done? Um, you don't essentially, like I said, all you got to do is write in the, um, like put in your email and password and your UBI number. And once you do that and turn on the sync, you really shouldn't have any need to log back into BioTrack again. Um, all the data is getting submitted back over there. Um, we have all the, the reports that you might need, um, but any of that reporting that needs to go over to the state is already being submitted via API. Awesome. All right. What do the integrations mean for me? Um, What's, what's that mean for, for retailers in these biotrack states? Um, I think it'll mean a lot more seamless. Um, they won't have to log into multiple systems to upgrade their menus or update um, like a weed maps or a Leafly type thing. Um, even if you have delivery in your state, you're not gonna have to log in to run a different delivery system because we also have those as well. Um, there's several things that are just gonna make your life a lot easier, including our reporting. Um, so, I, I mean, honestly, our integrations are kind of the best part I feel like about, Blaze, about Blaze, sorry. Agreed. Uh, and why should I use Blaze instead of Biotrack? Right, big question there. Um, I, honestly, we have so many batch options and ways that you can change and do things and update um, like just your inventory or even your patients. Um, not only that, but our integrations that we mentioned before, we have 40 plus integrators, um, Blaze plays very well with other softwares. So that's always a nice feature to have. Um, so there's, there's lots of little things. I just think that you, you will enjoy and make your life a lot better. Um, just because it's going to be a lot less cumbersome. You're going to spend less time in front of the computer. Nice. Uh, I just got a couple more here. Um, Let's see, can Blaze transfer, migrate my existing patients, customers, and inventory for my other POS system? Absolutely. Um, we can port over product lists and patients um, or members, um, however you know your state is set up. Um, but once you get those ported in, essentially you'll just have to use the intake button to go in and associate your Blaze products with your BioTrack inventory. Got it. All right, unless we have any other um, questions coming in through our Q&A, which I don't believe we do. Um, but if you do have any additional questions, feel free to drop, drop those in and uh, we can always follow up with you after the webinar. Um, look, we're really excited about this integration and uh, we're actually currently looking um, for some beta testers. Um, in our first two states, Illinois and New Mexico. Uh, we'll be rolling out Blaze in all Biotrack states uh, in the very near future, but if you're currently operating in Illinois or New Mexico, 
please reach out to us. We'll be happy to get you scheduled for a demo. Um, or if you're already using Blaze and interested in expanding into these states, uh, you, you know, you can contact our support team and uh, we'll get you rolling there. Um, but we really appreciate everybody joining us today. Uh, we'll be hosting a few more of these webinars very soon for some of our you know, exciting new product releases and new integrations. Uh, we'll be following up with you in the days to come uh, with a recording of this webinar so you can watch it again at your convenience. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate everyone joining. We'll leave you with a, a quote from our uh, CEO, Chris Violas, regarding this Biotrek uh, integration. Um, really appreciate everybody hopping on. And like I said, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our sales team, our support team, and uh, we'll help you get those answered. Thanks everyone for joining.